Okay, we're up, up to Chafav, and uh, we're up to Chafav, today's Da'af, and we're at the beginning, we're at the, at the bottom of Chaf, hey, on the days. Just to reiterate, yesterday we saw the Mishnah that you're supposed to distance an Elam from a bar 25 Amis, and if it's a sycamore tree or a carob tree, 50 Amis, because the roots are going to grow in, in there. Um, if the bar was there first, therefore you go ahead and cut down the tree. If the tree was there first, you you, you don't cut it down. Uh, Rabbi, Rabbi Yossi was of the opinion, even if the bar was there first, Right, even the bar was there first. You don't cut down the. Tree. You don't have to cut. You don't have to uh, for the elon. You don't have to cut down the tree because each person went ahead and um, went ahead and was in their own rishus. So we saw it's machloikis that who has to go ahead and be market. According to the chacham, it's Reb, it's the mazik. According to Rabbi Yosi, it's the nizik. And Rabbi Yosi's moda begiri delay. If it would have been direct mazik, then you would be chayim. You would be chayim. Uh, we were introduced to Rabbi Yossi in, in the, right at the end of Abayas Valia. If you remember Masech de Bamitzia, a person in the attic, if he throw down, washes his hands or washes water and the water goes directly down, Rabbi Yossi would be moda. If, however, it first goes on the floor and then goes down, then, then Rabbi Yossi would say not, because again, it's not giri play, it's not direct. That's why we were introduced to Rabbi Yossi. Sheet that we sorted, Rashi brings it over here again, and let's see the Gemara. Rabbi Yossi, Yoyim, Afilu Shabar, Kaidemus Lilan, each one did his own thing. This person dug in his, and this person planted in his. I'm Rabbi Yudam Shmuel, Allah, Rabbi Yossi, the Allah is like Rabbi Yossi. I find that interesting. We know that Allah is always like Rabbi Yossi, because Rabbi Yossi is the Mukai Imai. So that Rabbi Yossi is, is the, the logic is with him. I'm wondering why the need to go ahead and say that Allah is like Rabbi Yossi, if through the Kloli Hashas, we say that Allah is Rabbi Yossi. Just the Ha'ara. Um, Rav Ashi, Kavina be Rav Kahana, when I was by the Yeshiva Rav Kahana, Havi Aminan, Moide Rav Yossi Begiri Didei. Rav Yossi is Moide Begiri Didei. Again, shooting the arrow. Let's just see Rashi again, something we all know. Begiri Didei. Hechi Dimatle Yazek Mitach Yadav Shal Masik. Where the Hezek happens in the hands of the Masik. Kahi Damina Mabayas Valiya. For example, at the end of Masech Deba Metziah, Hanu Betrei, there were two people, Chadari, Loi, Chadari, Titoi, once in the, in the attic, the one is underneath. If if the cement of the floor goes ahead and, and takes and uh, deteriorates, Kalemus the Mashiyode, anytime he washes his hands in the upper attic, Naflu Allah the Tatoy falls on the lower uh, lower person. The Kishanaifla Miyode Mamish, when it falls immediately a la takbain, curly giri delay, giri delay, his the kipasik, however, if it falls first on the floor, but other nafli, like curly giri delay. So basically, just as you shoot an arrow and, and that action is direct. So to what? This is similar to the concept of Garmi. When we discussed the difference between Grom and Garmi, this would be similar to Garmi. Papi Yoinoa. Okay, every name is in the Gemara. His Papi. Papi is a grandfather in Spanish. Papi Yuna or Yoinoa or, or, or from Yavan. He was from Yavan. Aniva Hisha. He was a wealthy person. He was a poor and then he became wealthy. Avi Bona Padma. He built a palace. Avi Hanach Atsure Bishu. Bishop Bise, there were these presses in his area, in his neighborhood. When they would press the sesame to go ahead and extract the oil, his building would shake. When I was by Rav Kahana, I was in Rav Kahana, and therefore these people would have to go ahead and distance their, their, their sesame presses because they were affecting what? The as soon as they went ahead and they pressed it, it shook the the palace. Obviously, what right, they're doing damage and it's it's direct. The comma, how much the, does the palace have to go ahead and shake to be considered a mazik? If you had a lid on top of the wall and it would fall off the wall, as a result, it would move. That would be enough. The Bay Rav Merion braid the Ravin. The Bay Bar Merion were the sons of Ravin. He having nafse kisna when they would go ahead and beat their flax. Having osla raksa, the chef, the, the seeds would go. Umaske inshe and they would damage people. Osla kamei the ravina amalahu ki amina moid the rabbiyosi begiri delay. When is rabbiyosi is moid the begiri delay? Is hani mili the osla mikocho. That's only when it comes direct from his koach. When it comes direct from his koach. Hacha zikahu the amatile. Over here, it's the wind that's causing it. In other words, it's his. His power alone is not enough to go ahead and cause the damage. It, it could cause the seeds to get loosened from the flax, 
but it's consequently it's the wind. That's not Giri delay. That's not his arrow. That's a, a subsidiary force. It's not his force. That's what Ravina said. Says the Gemara. Maskala Mabarabashi, Maishna Mizoreya Varuach Mesayatoi. What's the different thing in Hilcha Shabbos? Where we say that what? A person winnows on Shabbos and it's considered a malacha. Let's see, Rashi, guys, three lines down. Maishna Mizoreya, the Shabbos, the Chayev, Yazoreya on Shabbos, the Chayev, the Afa Pisha Ruach Mesayatoi, even though the Ruach is going ahead and helping him. It's considered doing a work. In other words, to Michal Shabbos, you have to do a malacha. You have to do a malacha. One of the malachas is what is winnowing. Ah, it's the wind that's doing it. Well, what do you have to say? We combine the wind with his action and consider as if he did it. So who would then over here by the rock? So we should consider it as if he did it. And it should be giri delay. As I frag Rema to to uh, That's what Marbarabashi Ma- Ma- asked. It makes a lot of sense. So Amaluhu, Haina Zareya, so uh Messiah um Amru Kameda Marema, they said this this din in front of Marema, and he agreed. Amaluhu, Haina Zareya, Baruch Mesayatai. So in other words, they held that the Bay Marion would be Chayev. Just like that action is considered an action in Linyan Shabbos, who would then that action is considered an action in Yinwat, Linyan Zikan. So you would hold your chayiv that despite the fact that the wind is assisting, just like by Shabbos the wind assists and it's considered what your chayiv. So do it over here. Ul Ravina and late Ravina. Why why did Ravina not like Hilchah Shabbos? What what did he not like Hilchah Shabbos? It says Rashi. Ul Ravina Maishna Bishleim is a rare for Ruach Maseyatoi lehavili pircha. That's not a cash on Ravina. The kasava memoyna mi Issa Shabbos leyafinon. We don't learn moment from Issa Shabbos. The Hassan by Shabbos, Malachas Machshava Asra Taira. The Taira Asas Machshava, a thought out process that 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 is considered now. Okay, I got him with Tatsina Leila Hypercha, the Baba Kama Bakanis Sain Ladir. Okay, guys, outside. We know that Shabbos, there's a Sidur de Pas. The, when the 39 of us Malachas, the first the first many are the Sidur de Pas. And Sidur de Pas is you had to go ahead, you had a, you had a winnow. You had to separate the wheat from the chaff. So if that's my kavana, even if in my action, it's not a total action, that's what the Torah, what the Torah considers important. is what I want to do. So whatever the whatever the Gezeris HaKosav considered the malacha is a malacha. So it's not a kasha on Ravina that by Nezikin he would not go ahead and chop his stylus from the Gemara and Shabbos. The Gemara and Shabbos is a unique halacha. It's a malach machshavis. It's a machlova that it's a machshava that I have to go ahead. And my, my desire, what I wanted to be fulfilled, I desired the wheat should be separated from chaff through the wind, and it was. But that's enough to be mechayim for Shabbos. The zikin, it's not enough to be considered giri delay. So therefore, the gemara is not asking from what from Shabbos, despite the fact that Marema correlated and agreed that it's a good comparison between Shabbos and Raksa by Mazikin. Ravina, Ravina did not accept that that chilek. He didn't hold it was a he did not hold it was a, he didn't hold it was the same. He held it was a distinction, and therefore he's the kasha. The gemara is not going to ask on Ravina from there, because clearly Shabbos is different. It's asking from an other mission in Baba Kama, and what's that Mishnah? Read the back in our gemara. Ul Ravina Maishna may gates hayoytz mitachas apatish. What's the difference between a spark that goes out from underneath an anvil, the hizik, and it does damage? So I went ahead, the chai v'shalim. I go ahead, I'm a blacksmith. I take my hammer, I hit the, the anvil and the iron, a spark goes out, it does damage. I'm chayiv. What's the difference between that and hitting the flax and the flax goes and does damage? That's the kasha. That's the kasha. That's the kasha. Again, Shabbos is not a kasha, but nizikin to nizikin, I could ask a kasha. By hitting the flax, I'm pata. By hitting the hammer, I'm chayiv. The end for the Gemara is a big difference. Went for the Gemara, Hassam over there by the by the spark. Nicha lay the lazel, hacha, lazel. You want it to go, hacha lay nicha lay the lazel. They're not not happy that it goes, fellas. When when you go ahead and hit flax, what do you want to occur? Do you want the flax to go a great distance? I, I, I keep on saying flax. Let's say wheat. Do I want that shaft to leave here at, at a great distance? Or I just want it to get off the wheat? Obviously, I just want it to get off the wheat. 
So if I hit it, I'm not hitting with a force that's going to cause it to go that distance. You know when it goes that distance? is when the Ruach goes ahead and takes it. When I go ahead and hit the anvil and the hammer and I have a spark, I'm putting ganz good koiches into this. This is the way to be showing and explain this. I'm putting strong koiches into this. And therefore, we consider the spark as my koyach licked in the spark. It's not like, it's mamish giri delay. When you shoot an arrow, your koyach, the draw of the bow, you shoot in the arrow, this gates shooting comes machmas my, the power of my strike. My shame came out by the wheat. I'm hitting it like this and then it's going. That's the chilik between the two. So Shabbos, according to Ravina, is not a tzushtel, malach, it's not Shabbos. Even gates, hayyotzim, tachas apatish is a distinct difference because the gates going, tachas apatish is a, I'm doing it with strength. Mashain came raksa, I'm not doing it with strength. I don't want it to go to damage. And that's the difference between the two. There's a big, big toysis over here by Aish. And I, you know, just, just to see the kasha, and quick kasha and terror, it's the second toysis. Ziku hu dekom amati lei, v'koshu l'ri, v'lechai mishem Aish. Forget about being mechaev as other mamazik, it should be Aish. Aish, guys, is koyach achem uruvoy. Midi de havi avna sekinam asoy shenicha b'rish gago. You have a stone that you, or a, a load that you left at the top of a roof. V'nafu b'ruch metsuya, and it falls in the roof metsuya, v'zeku dechai mishem Aish. Just to go back in time, fellas. If we remember, there was arba avas nezikin, one of the avas nezikin was Aish. Aish's characteristic was ruach achem uruvoy. In other words, I can have an outside force mixed into it. So if I have, if I have a, a, an ish, if I have a, a stone at the top of a, a wall, I have a ruach that comes along and takes it off the wall and does damage on Chayim. I didn't send it, the ish sent it. So Frank, Frank Toys the Kasha, why is the difference over here by Raksa? When I go ahead and hit it and it goes down, so I have a koyach achem urubo. And even if you tell me the wind is taking it, so that's ish. So why am I, what? even if the wind would take it, I should be chayav al ish. What's the difference between Raksa and and what and Avnis Sakino Maso that there you're Chayiv al Seish and here you're not. So you go down a little bit, it says Oy Marie. Go down that six, seven lines. Oy Marie. The first word of the line is Oy Marie. Re. Lay Domi Leish. It's not comparable to Eish. The ain't Chayiv Mishim Eish. Elakish Asa Adam Esa Eish. Levadai. The person himself created the Eish. Kidixiv Hamav Esa Beiroi. Shalim Shalim Hamav Esa Beiroi. The one who lit the fire. But Lo Siu A Ruach without the Ruach helping it. And then the Ruach takes it along. Over here, it's not Ruach. Here, it's it's the fire that created the damage. It wouldn't have gone at all. So Eish, guys, is Pshat is, I created the Mazik, fellas. Eish is Pshat, I created the Mazik, and then the Ruach Acha just took the Mazik along. Over here, I never created the Mazik. It's the, it's the wind that created the Mazik. It's a beautiful chilik between Aish and Raksa. Again, by Aish, I created it. I just needed the Aish to transport it. Over here, the Raksa, I need into creating it. And that's the difference between the two. It's a beautiful chilik based upon Tysus the read between the two. Okay, again, Baba Kama 101. Says the Mishnah. A person should not plant a tree next to the Sada of his friend. Elim Kane Hirchach Mimenu Arba Amis. You have to distance four Amis. We're familiar with this. This is called by this Akerem. You know, you need around, it's not Lavda Afka Kerem, around trees. You have to leave four Amis for the for the, the plow to go around. You need an area. So if I if I need to leave between my field and his field, that area, or, or else I'm going to end up having my plow go over his field. Echad Gefanim, whether it's 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 vines, the echid called Elon and any other tree, you need four Amis. If there's a gather between them, over here now you do not need the distance of what of, of four amis, right? You don't need the distance of four amis, and uh because because why? Because of uh, you're not worried about the, the going around. We saw earlier, however, Masek, the worried about the stuff growing underneath. So if you look at the at, at the Bach guys, Aleph. You have a tsunma, you have a big rock there, guys. When you have a rock that's there, it's going to stop the, 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 the stuff from growing, you know, your tree from growing out, then it's it's then you can plant over there. That's if you have a tsunma according to the Tysus. What happens if 
the shroshim go into your fence field. What happens if you plant a tree and the shroshim are going into the fields? Mamikim gimel tefachim. Then, then your friend has the ability to go ahead and lower them up to three tefachim. Because again, a plow doesn't go below three tefachim, and therefore he's able to cut and, and, and whittle down the roots till the a depth of three tefachim, which wouldn't impede his plow. However, let's say he's on the other side, he's doing more than, than, than cultivating. He's digging these water cisterns. He cuts down, he cuts the roots, and he keeps on going down, and the aids belong to him. The question is, who's him? Is it the Bala Ilan or the Bala Karka? We'll see in the Gemara. Okay? That's the Mishnah. Hana. Arba Amisha Amru. The Arba Amisha says, Kiri Avaidis Akarem. That's the share of Avaidis Akarem. Again, the, we spoke about. Amar Shmuel, Loi Shano El of Eretz Yisrael. Where do you need four Amois? It's only in Eretz Yisrael, where it's not as fertile. Avol the bubble, which was more fertile than Eretz Yisrael. Shte Amis, the, 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 you didn't even need four Amis. Two Amis would do the job, right? Rashi says, Avol the bubble, Shte Amis, Shemach Rishasan, Katsra, their, their, their plows were shorter. They were shorter. Tanya Nami Hachi, the difference in Eretz Yisrael, that you needed four Amis for Abay the Sakerem, and bubble, you only need two Amis for Abay the Sakerem. La Yitin Adam Elan Samach the Sada Chaveroi, a person should not go ahead and plant. Anilan, Samach the Sada has Chaver, Elan Kain Hirch Mimenu Shte Amis, unless he distanced himself not two Amis. Read the Gemara, Ivan Antanan Arba Amis. How can you say two Amis? The Bryson says two Amis, Amish says four Amis. Ella Lav Kiddish Shmuel. It's like Shmuel. The Bryson is speaking about Bavel, which is two. Amish is speaking about Eretz Yisrael, which is four. Shma Mino, you have a good distinction. Bigger the Romulan Marimma, there are those who have this dialogue, Derech Stira, not not a as a learning shot in a Mishnah, but as a stira and then answering a Mishnah. Tanan and a Mishnah, Laita, the Vilan Samach Sadak of Aaron Kane, Herchmeno Arba Amis. But I but Tanya Shte Amis, we went to Nabisa to Amis. How do you go ahead and, and answer the distinction? Amashmuel like Hasha, Kam the Babel, two Amis is in Babel, Kam Beret to Swell, four Amis is in Eret to Swell. Rabba Barachana, Habili Hanu Dikli, a Mitzvah de Pradisa de Abyasid. Rabba Barachana, he had these palm trees. He had these palm trees. They were on the Meitzar. They were on the boundary of the Pardus of Rabbi Yosef. The Pardus usually is a Karen. Usually is a, is a, is a, a Karen. Rashi says it's a Karen. Sometimes they say it's a pomegranate. Well, here it's a Karen. Have you see Tzipure? Birds would come. Have a Bidikli? They would go ahead and sit on Rav Bara Rav Hanan's palm tree. The Nach they be Pardise, they would then descend into the Kerem, who Mafsidale, and they would be Mafsid, they would cause what they would be Mafsid, Rabbi Yosef a loss. So Amale, Rabbi Yosef went ahead and told uh, Rava Barab Hanon, Zeal Kites, go cut down your tree. So they would have a place to roost. I, Beho Archiki Li, okay, so Amale, Beho Archiki Li, that Rabbi Barab Khan told Rabbi Yosef, I distanced myself to four Amis. Amalei said, Rabbi Yosef, when is four Amis enough? And immediately, the Ilonois. Abel the Gefan and being in Tfei. For Ilonois, it's four Amis, but for Gefanim, more. Fredrik Morvan Antanan, Echad Gefanim, the Echad called Ilon. So it's Mashma four is enough, and I distanced four. Amalei Rabbi Yosef said, Hani Mili, Ilon, the Ilon, the Gefanim, the Gefanim. Aval, that, that's trees, fruit trees to fruit trees, or non fruit trees to non fruit trees, or non fruit trees to fruit trees, or karem to karem. Aval Elon the Gefanim being at Fay. Elon the Gefanim says, Rabbi Yais, if you want, you would need a, a bigger distance. Aman, that's what he said. He said, you would need, you would need, in, in this case, you would need by a, a, a greater distance. And not, enough, not enough to distance yourself for Amis. For this distance, you would need what? A bigger distance. So hang on one second. Here's the conversation that took place according to Rishayim. I'll read it to you. 
Hamasiba Mata being Rabbi Yosef the Rabbi Bar of Khan and Hoyakach. Rabbi Yosef Toiva may Rabbi Bar of Khan and Lichtso, he said you should cut it down. It's all you're causing your loss. Omu Loy Rabbi Bar of Khan and Hari Shanina Misha Senu, Harkik Rak Dal Ramis, which I did. Mashmo Shain Sarf Lachim Mishum Siporim, Elam Mishum Chakresha. In other words, I don't have to distance myself because of birds. I only have to distance myself because of plowing. What's the four Amis, guys? The four Amis is a din in Abayda Sakarim. So the whole shot in, in the din of Archaka is a din in agriculture. It's not in the din of Archakas of birds. So that's what Rabbi Barachana was telling Rabbi Yosef. You tell me I have to, to cut it down. Why should I cut it down? You can go ahead and cultivate your field. You can go ahead and take your tractor and your and your, and your plow around your field, and that's all I'm required to do. So what are you telling me with the birds? The birds have nothing to do with this. So I'm a loy, Rabbi Yosef, the Mishnah our Mishnah that's speaking about achok of machresha loy midubur el behezik beinaylonos shumish machresha. That's only from tree to tree. In other words, what's the distinction, guys, between tree, tree, geffen, geffen? Is because tree, tree, geffen, geffen is an agricultural problem. But when you're speaking about tree, le geffen, then we have to take into account birds. Our Mishnah wasn't speaking about that at all. Your taina of four amis of agriculture is only speaking about when we're dealing with Quarters, quarters, dimes, dimes. We're not speaking about, we're speaking about quarters, dimes. We're speaking about two different things over here. It never was said for Amish when, when it speaks about birds descending. Amish is speaking about Kafana, Kafana, Mulanus, Ilanus. Amaloi, Rabba, Rabchana, Bahari Mishra, Seinu, Kosim, and Mufurish, Ilanus, Vikafanim. Amish said both. Amal Rabbi Yasef, Mishra, Seinu, Mitaberis, Ben Ilanus, Lilanus, Ben Kafana, Likafanim. Achloi, Ben Ilanus, Likafanim. The Rabbi Rav Chana like Kiblu Pirusha. He he didn't accept this. El Asayva the Mishnah with the Beres Gam Ben Ilanus the Gefanim. He said there's no no distinction. Him came in Lelakutz. He was going to cut it down. So he wasn't buying what Rabbi Yosef was selling. Rabbi Yosef was selling guys. He hit this lump. This this Rabbi Yosef. This is all a Rashba guys. This is the Rashba. This is the Rashba Lenny. Rabbi Yosef was selling a distinction between agriculture and birds descending. The four Amis is totally agriculture. So. You, but your the birds are from your tree are descending, and you can't bring me right from our Mishnah because our Mishnah wasn't discussing birds descending. And Rabbi Baruchana was not the, buying this distinction. He said the dinner for Amis is in all venues. It didn't make a difference. It's in all venues. But so therefore, Amar Lav Yosef, at the Sayyid, you hold that the Mishnah is speaking about that, then you cut it down. Okay. So now it's get very guys. This is Kishmaka Hesber because he. He is that little kinech, right? The difference between the, the Rabbi Yosef held, like the Rashba, Rabbi Yosef held is that the Mishnah did not take into account the bird's relationship, bird to tree. And therefore, you had to be marked more than four. And Rabbi Yosef said, and, and Rabbi Rabbi Khanna said, no, it took into account everything. It took it that was the, the way the Rashba learns, guys. But I just read, but he was the Rashba. So now, back in the Gemara. So, Amale, so, Amale, I know loy katsina. He said, I'm not going to cut it down. I, I don't believe it. I'm not going to cut it down. So the Rosh learns, I'm not cutting it down. Why? Because I, I, again, if I don't believe, I don't believe, I, if I don't believe that there's a distinction, there's no need to cut it down. And more than that, it's us that cut it down. The Omar Rav, high dikla the toy in Kaba, a decal, a fruit bearing tree that's bearing a Kaba fruit. Also, it's also to cut down. It's also, also to cut down. We're getting into a Shaila, guys. The Vorim Chaf Pasuk Yutes. The Vorim Chaf Pasuk Yutes. He Sotzer Al Ir Yomim Rabim. When you siege a city for many days, do not destroy the trees. Because you eat from that. And you shouldn't cut them down. 
This is the famous guy's what? Din of Baltashkes, of cutting down a fruit bearing tree. So said, said Robert of Khanna, there's no way I'm cutting down this tree, right? It, it, there's no way I'm cutting down this tree. So the Omar Rav, Hai Dikla, the Tony Kaba Asa, the Mixay, the Omar Rav Khanina, like Rav Khanina said, like Shachiv Shikhvas Bri, my son Shikhvas, that was his name. Was it Sadiq Yisrael Olam? The only reason he died. Rav is saying the only reason he died, meaning uh, there's no other reason for him to die. Ela the cuts te nasa blazmana that he cut it before his time. Mar, you Rav Yosef of Nichalei Likas, you can go ahead right and cut it down. You can go ahead and cut it down. Let's see the bottom twice, this guys. Anole katsin on dama Rav from Toima, but Tzad Masnisan the koytzim benaitzis damin. He said in Amishna you cut down the tree and you give give. If you tell me you cut down a fruit bearing tree, so if the tree was there, secondly, the Mishnah said you cut down the tree and you give the money. I, it's a fruit bearing tree. We can say that tree is only a non fruit bearing tree. That the Mishnah was speaking about a non fruit bearing tree. He has the cash from a chayvel. Therefore, the farish to go to the end of Tysus. Here's the farish. The shiny hossam she yosemi daya hayim achisha mikufanim. It was this was really really really. Damaging the tree, the 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 kerem, ad the have toyim b'hu time with the chamra. Your mamish tasted, right? You tasted in the, the in the in the dekel. You tasted you tasted the wine. In other words, it was so to a point where you, you get if that if that's going to destroy if it's so ungazam that you could go ahead and run and cut it down. The Rebbeinu Yoni says the matter lichtzois and b'hu mazik moment. If it damages somebody, you're able to go ahead. So it was guys. So this was this was damaging it. It was it was it was it was affecting the taste of the wine. So therefore, you were permitted to cut it down. Okay, that's that's what Rabbi Yosef held. Again, you have a problem over here. Rabbi Yosef Grisa didn't talk about tashkas. How can you tell him to cut it down? So you have to say, in addition to achachas nazikin, there was a problem at that the geffen you tasted in the in, in the in the get in the geffen you tasted the, the dates. Says the Gemara Vaita. The Papa. Havile Hanu Dikli Amitsu the Rafuna Braid Yeshua. Rav Papa had these the column on the Maitsar on the boundary of Rafun Rabbi Yeshua. He had these palm trees on that Maitsar. Ozl Ashkri the Havi Khafar. He came Rav Papa and he found that Rafuna Brave Yeshua, right? He was digging because Koyat Shwasha and he was cutting his roots. Amalai Rav Papa said to him, My hi, what's going on? Amalai Rafun Rabbi Yeshua said to him, Tanan, by Yeshwashim Yoitz and Mitoch Shal Khabeiroi. If the roots are going out to the in the your friend's uh, friend's field, maimik shleisha kadei shleiyakiv hamachresha. Be able to deepen them three tefachim that it shouldn't go ahead and uh, affect my ability to plow. I'm a leiser a papa hani hani mili shleisha marka chafet fe. You're digging more. So I'm a leir. Rav Huna Rebbe Shul told him, I'm not boyres sichin moyres kachafir. No, I'm I'm not just doing digging it for what for purpose of of cultivating. I'm digging it for a, a pit. And a water system, you do more. If not, how you chayif a parsiach ma'ara koyitz v'yoyir v'etsim shaloi. Amra Papa, so Papa said, "Imila kulei v'leyachulei." He said, "Listen, I, I I tried very hard. I was bringing him panoyik sources. I was bringing sephoros, the frees, and the filters. I was throwing the kitchen sink in him." Says Papa, and all of them, Rav Huna Reb Yeshua was able to fatayt. He was able to answer all of them. Ad the army lay until I told him the following. Hadam Rabbi Huda Meitzar, a road. Shechziku by Rabbim, that the Rabbim were able to go out and use. Afil who shall yachid, even if it's in a, a yachid's field, also a kalkaloi. It's also to it's also to go ahead what and be makalkalit. It's also to be makalkalit. So he's tining that. Again, this is a Rashba. He says, Kishtayim Royus Asimi. You're doing two bad things to me. First of all, the rabbim took hold of it. You don't have rishus to go ahead and dig it all. You're going ahead and destroying a road that the rabbim is using already. And certainly it's us for you to go ahead what, and be mafsid me cutting these things down. In other words, once it's bachsid for rabbim, you don't have rishus over here. So he's telling him that since the rabbim have been used to cut, use this over here, then you have no wish just to go ahead and use it. So in other words, 
once they're machzik, it doesn't have your field anymore. It doesn't have my field anymore. Once it's not my field, it's the field of Rabbim. The, the roots that are going in, you have no right to. Dom Rabbi Yehuda, Meitzah, Shachzib, or Rabbim, Meitzah, a road, a path, that Rabbim had been machzik in, also the Kalkalai. The bus of the Nafik, after Rav, uh, Rav Papa left, Omar, Rav Huna, Rabbi Yeshua said to himself, Amai loy, Amri loy, why did I not tell him? Kan betoich sheis esrei ama, kan lechut sheis ama. When can you cut the roots for a tree? It seems the first 16 amis, uh, uh, the tree needs that. That you can't cut. After 16 amis, that you could cut. I was cutting after 16 amis. So he answered everything, but this one he failed to answer. He didn't think about it in time. He could have said that, you know, I was cutting outside 16 amis. After the 16 amis part, the tree doesn't need it. Now the question is, who does it belong to? Who does this Eitzim belong to? Guys, let's designate it. There's the Bala Elon and the Bala Karka. Ruvain owns the tree. Shimon owns the Karka. It's the, the, he's digging now a Bar Siach Ma'ara, sh, a, a Shimon. And now Shimon is the, is the Bal Karka. And we're saying that that wood, who does it belong to? Does it go after the owner of the tree, Ruvain? So good Shimon can go ahead and, and, and he wants to dig a bar on his side. He has the right to cut it down. Does he have a right to keep it or not? Does he have a right to keep it or not? So, Boimine Yehuda Hadava, and I think that's the way you pronounce it. I always have to check. Hadiyava, I'm sorry. Hadiyava, it's the name of a place. So, Boimine Yaakov Hidava. He asked the following question in Mirab Chista. The Mishnah said by Eitzim Shaloi, Eitzim Shalmi, do they belong to the Baal Hasadah Shimon, or do they belong to Ruvain the Baal Elon? So Amalei Rav Chista said to Yaakov Hadiva'a, Shinisua, you learned it, it's a Mesechta Me'ila. You learned it's a Mesechta Me'ila. So guys, here's the case. You have a tree growing. It can be two possibilities, or there's three, three possibilities. The tree is Chulin, but it's going into the Roots are going into the field of Hegdish. The tree is Hegdish. The roots are going to a field of Chulin. Or it's Chulin Chulin, which, again, is not a, a Shaila, because we're dealing in Masech Ila, so we need a Tzad of Kudush over here. Or it's, or it's Kaddish, and the field is Kaddish. So let's deal first with the first possibility. The tree is Chulin, and it's growing into what? The Balkarka. So what would the, what would the Hachra be? If there's a Din of Me'ila, you go after the karka. If there's no din of me'ila, you go after the tree. And then we can go ahead and be paishra shayla. Do you go after the tree or after the karka? That's what the Gemara is going to attempt to do. Says the Gemara. Amalera fista tenisua. Shroshin ilon hegit. The tree is hegit. It's, it's regular. Haboyim yishel hegdish. It's going into a field of hegdish. Loi nenin. You're not allowed to have anah. Midrabonon. Loi moilin. There's no din of me'ila. Now, obviously, if there's no din Milo, right, then it must be that you go after the tree. So over here also, we can push at Shiloh that the wood would belong to Ruvay. Says Gemara, Very good, you're going after the tree. That's why you're not moil. Because the, only the ground is not the tree. If you're going to go after the karka, so let's be push at Shiloh. Then in our case, the roots would belong to Ruvain, despite the fact it's in Shimon's property. Because over here, the tree is not, there's no dinner meila, despite the fact that the roots are on Kaidish Tikka property. Says the Gemara Elamai, what are you going to say? Bossa Elamai, Bossa Elon Aslinon. So you want to say you go after the tree? Ema Sefer, Hegdish, let's say the tree is Shel Hegdish, the tree is of Hegdish, Aboyim is Shel Hegdish, that's going into a Hegdish property. Loinen of Loimoilin. There's no dinner meila, midrabanon, and there's no dinner meila deraisa. <laughs> midrabanon, you shouldn't have ana, but there's no dinner meila. One second, guys. You have a hegdish tree going into chulin property. There's no meila. So, what are you going after? The karka. Guys, the tree is hegdish. It's going into chulin property. And nonetheless, you're telling me there's no dinner meila. Obviously, you're not going after the tree, says the Gemara. The e bus the ilan has lean on, am I loy Why is there no dinner meila? After all, the tree is kaidesh. Says going to meet the area, right? You know what we're speaking about? There's no raya in that case. We're speaking about the gidulin that come afterward. Guys, outside. Outside. Let's say I had a, a tree was hegdish, 
and the ground was hegdish. You would say unequivocally, this is a Mila, because whether you go after the tree or after the karka, this right, it's kaidish. The halacha is the gedulin. If, if the, when you magdish the tree, whatever grows afterwards is not hegdish. So you can't bring me right from here. The tree is hegdish. It's going into a ground of vat of hegit, and you're telling me there's no meila. Even if the ground was hegdish, there would be no din of meila because the gedulin don't have a din of kodesh. So that's what he's saying. You can't be Mariah from this case that you go after the gra- that you're going after what the ground because the ground is hegit. Even if the ground was hegdish, there would be no din of meila. Why? Because it's gedulin abar laachemikan. It's the gedulin that come out afterwards. So, so you have no raya, because sabash a mila begidulin, and and the mishnahs of the opinion there's no mila begidulin. So in the mela you haven't been pushed the shaila from the mishnah in mila, but now we're going to say so no. Ravina ama like kasha. There's no difference. There's a big difference in the ratio in the sefer. Mi toich sheish esrayama, the roots that are within sixteen amis of the tree, that the tree needs. They would belong to the tree, and therefore they would belong to Ruvain. The Khan and the Sefer, why there's no, that's the ratio. Right? In, the, in the Sefer, where the tree is Hegdish, and the ground is what? Is is not. The reason there's Me'ila is Chutz L'Shnei Se'ama. The, the reason there's no Dinah Me'ila is because why? Is is because the, the outside 16 Amis, you don't need the tree. So using this concept, we can be pushed to the Shiloh. Let's say Ruvain has a tree. It's growing into Shimon's Rishos. Shimon's digging Boris Sikhan Amaris. And he has what? He has roots there. If the roots are 16 Amos, more than 16 Amos away from, from the, the, the tree itself, then not only can Shimon dig down, but Shimon could go ahead and keep the wood. If, however, it's more than six, closer than 16 Amos to the tree, Shimon has the right to dig down because it's his property, but he wouldn't have a right to go ahead and keep the wood. He wouldn't be able to keep the wood. Let me stop it.